Coast Adapt attempts to walk people through the process of understanding the risks from climate change and sea level rise and taking action to address those risks. We provide information at a number of different levels for different types of users. So if you're based in the coastal zone, if you're a local government officer, if you're working in a coastal industry, it is necessary for you to be thinking about your exposure and your risks. So we have undertaken some test cases with Coast Adapt to see whether they can make good use of Coast Adapt to help them to solve those problems. People come and visit Road because of its beaches and because of its coast. If we don't protect that, then, and it becomes degraded, then eventually the town will suffer an economic loss. The real key things that we're keeping an eye on are risks associated from storm surge and, and hiking tides. So these events are happening with, with greater frequency and also with greater ferocity. I mean, I had a fair under, appreciation of what the issues were, but I had no science to back that up. What Coast Adapt has given is the science when we tell the community that we are doing a certain course of action, this is the reason why, this is the science behind what we're doing. We now have a tool which helps us have a coordinated approach and have a long-term approach. We're under-resourced, we don't have a massive staff, we don't have specialist environment people, we don't have the scientific knowledge, but with Coast Adapt we can tap into those resources. Coast Adapt will help us make sure that our money is spent wisely and perhaps only spent once. North Queensland Airports Group operates Mackay Airport and Cairns Airport. So both of our airports are in low-lying coastal areas. Um, they're in tropical areas so we do experience high heat as it is and we're also in an area that experiences cyclones. As the airport we do have a lot of workers that work outdoors but with climate change they're expected to, to deal with more intense hot days. We have had concerns from the community um, to, to asking us what we are doing about climate change and making sure that, that their businesses aren't going to suffer through airport closures. So Coast Adapt really helped us bring all of the, the climate change related uh, matters together into one place and it helped to, to bring all of our different departments together as well to look at those risks as a whole. Local government's got a critical role in understanding how to assist its community to adapt. Lake Entrance is our biggest coastal town. It's a significant tourism destination and has a significant fishing industry based here as well. Lake Entrance is located in a really vulnerable position at the spot on the Gippsland Lakes where the entire catchment, if it's in flood, is actually trying to exit into the ocean. And so uh, what we're trying to work out is how do we manage the impact that sea level rise will have in the lake system and how our towns flood into the future. The aim of the project is to make sure that Lake Entrance goes from being seen as the most vulnerable town to one that has the best plan for adaptation. The beauty of Coast Adapt is it's designed to support decision makers and it's designed with rigorous information that you can rely on. It's not just about inundation and flooding, there are a whole lot of other potential impl implications resulting from infrastructure, failure, economic challenges and also understanding the social equity issues associated with adaptation. Any council that's looking at understanding how they engage in adaptation should use Coast Adapt. And it also helps connect the business with, with other groups looking at the same challenges into the future. We've built all kinds of networks of people around Coast Adapt, people with an interest in coastal management for climate change and sea level rise. And they learn from one another and so we're building bridges across Australia where no bridges existed in the past. 